Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on live streaming video from the cloud. In this tutorial series, we'll go over setting up a Wowza media server on an EC2 instance, as well as installing GoCoder on our cell phone and being able to stream live from our cell phone to the cloud and being able to view it. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to want to launch an EC2 server, and here we're going to go to the AWS Marketplace and we're going to search for Wowza. And we're going to select the first one that comes up because they'll automatically put their license in it on the server. We'll choose an M1 small since it's just a demo, but for a production uh, environment, I'd recommend something larger. Choose a VPC. We're just going to use the defaults that they have provided for us. We'll name this Wowza. And we'll allow them to create their security group because they have everything all set up uh, nice and easy for us. And we'll go ahead and review and launch. Great. So once our server is started, we're going to go to the public IP address and port 8088. So we can go ahead and copy our public DNS. We can go to port 8088 and we'll see we have the welcome to Wowza. So we can go ahead and click skip intro. We're going to log in as the user Wowza. And our password is the instance ID of the server. And this is all pre-configured for us um, from the marketplace. And you'll actually notice there are some pre-configured applications as well, which is great. So we'll copy that instance ID, paste it in there, and we'll click sign in. Great, and we can see we are now in our Wowza homepage. This is awesome. So now we can go to our live application. Just to make things easy on myself, uh, when using GoCoder, I'm going to turn off passwords. So I'm going to go to incoming security and I'm going to edit the security. And I'm just going to make the publishing open. Um, so no authentication required. It's just easier for, for me using GoCoder. And uh, now we need to restart our application. So we're going to go ahead and click restart now. Okay, and next, um, after we restart this, I'm going to show you the GoCoder application uh, by Wowza. And this is free for both iOS and Android and I'll link below. Um, so the, uh, the first screen that you're going to see here for the Wowza GoCoder application, um, this is what, sh what brings up right when you open up the application. And the main things we're going to focus on is the connect in the top right and the start encoding in the bottom right. Um, the connect is going to give you a couple different options. Um, I'll go through the ones that we need and the settings that we'll need. Um, and then we'll be able to start encoding and we'll be able to see us live streaming um, on the internet. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to connect to the Wowza streaming engine. And from there, we will select our host. And we'll enter our server's public IP and the port that it's on. And we'll go back and go to the application. And our application is live, and the stream name is my stream. And our username and password is going to be blank. And now we can go ahead and click start encoding. And you'll notice that lights up red. So now that I'm broadcasting over my cell phone using GoCoder, I can go to the test players and see application is live and stream is my stream. And if I click start here, I should be able to see my phone broadcasting. And there it is. And all I'm doing is just looking at my screen and showing you that everything is there working. It's pretty neat how fast you can get a live streaming server up and running. So we can go ahead and click stop. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, what we did was we booted a Wowza streaming server on an EC2 instance using the Marketplace AMI. And we used GoCoder to connect to our Wowza streaming server. And we were able to live stream over the internet. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.